You're also a bit concerned about what the nation thinks of the Big Ten as a whole right now because you believe the criticism is not grounded, that there's yeah. really no perspective for the reason that the people are knocking the Big Ten, and specifically the middle of the league. Well, specific, uh, really, we can go the entire league now when you think about Ohio State being at the top, but you hear a lot of criticism about the Big Ten. There is no foundation for that criticism other than someone coming out and saying, it's boring to watch or it's just not that deep. You haven't watched enough practices. You haven't watched enough of these games. You don't understand that there's three new coaches in this league, so there's going to be a completely different mindset of those three teams in terms of how they attack, how they play, how they get comfortable playing against the teams that are now new to them. You don't understand that the top two, now top three teams in this conference, are elite-level teams. If Ohio State can beat Michigan State, they need to start being considered at an elite level, not just in the top 25. They've shown that they can beat the best team in the country, which I still think Michigan State is the best team in the country. There's no grounds for some of the comments that are made. There's nothing to back it up. All it is is a couple of, you know publicized trolls who want to make it known that they think the Big Ten's bad for some clicks. And I think it's pathetic. I mean, give me a reason why the Big Ten's so bad. We heard the same thing about football, and football ends up going 7-1 in bowl games.